Hello, and welcome to a very exciting, adventurous version of the Legal Geeks here. As you can see, I have with me my dashing partner, Josh Gilliland. Hey, Josh, how are you? Good evening, Jessica. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I do not have a cool hat. I wish I had the hat. I love it. You know, it would be wrong not to have the hat. I'm kind of surprised <laughs> you don't have the hat. All my, I, buddies, you know, all my buddies have these. <laughs> I think I had one somewhere. I must have lost it in the move. Um, so tell me, why do you have the hat on tonight, Josh? Because tonight we will discuss Raiders of the Lost Ark, the first Indiana Jones movie. Oh, exciting. A classic coming back to us from the 80s. 1981 to be exact. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> Although the last one, of course, I refuse to see the last one. The last one was what? Is that within the past five years? I don't even know now. Or was it longer ago than that? Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was, what, 2008? Oh, my goodness. 2007 or 2008. I, I need to... Holy cow. Time flies. It does. All right. So, well, we're here, obviously, to discuss legal issues. So, what were the legal issues in the Raiders of the Lost Ark? Okay. Whether or not... We'll, we'll skip over the fact whether or not going into other countries and taking national treasures is at all legal because <laughs> it was the 1930s and maybe it was maybe it wasn't back then but today there would be serious issues with that yes per permitting all kinds of good stuff but the issue i zoomed in on it's a very fundamental one after the fight with the nazis in nepal at marion's bar she holds up the headpiece to the staff of raw and says i'm your goddamn partner would they actually have a valid partnership? Oh, interesting. Well, how is a partnership formed? Is that enough to form a partnership? I actually believe it is. And I base that decision from looking at the laws of Connecticut. And why Connecticut? Because why Connecticut? Indiana Jones taught at Marshall College, which was in the you know, Connecticut. Therefore... You know, we're going to have to look at those laws because there probably would be a choice of law provision naming Connecticut for the laws that would apply. And under, ah. under Connecticut law, a partnership is the association of two or more persons to carry on as co-owners of a business for profit forms a partnership, whether or not they even intended to do so. Huh. So you don't need intent like a contract kind of thing, a meeting of the minds. You actually don't need that. There's actually case law that gets into uh, the conduct. You know, if, as long as there's the conduct that's there, that it's for profit. Uh, there are other factors that they look at as well. Uh, but if you're going to receive a share of the profit of the adventure that you're going into, mm -hmm. you could have a valid partnership there. Ah, well, so how was the partnership formed in Raiders of the Lost Ark? Well, you have to break down the scene in Nepal at Marion Ravenwood's bar. And Jones goes in and proposes to her that I would like the headpiece. I can give you $3,000 now. I'll give you $2,000 when we get back to the United States. And I have to do this because I'm on contract from the American government. Those factors, Marion takes the $3,000, puts it into a little cigar box that then it gets burned up in the fight that follows with the Nazi henchmen because... That's what happens. And based upon the blending of the property that she had, because the property, the headpiece, was needed to find the location of the Ark and the Well of Souls, the money that's exchanged shows kind of the beginning of a contractual relationship between the parties, because she actually did take it, showing acceptance. And one okay. of and then wanting the other $2,000 when the performance had been completed. All of that taken together would show the elements of a partnership. Wow. Interesting. All right. So they are partners now, um, maybe reluctant ones, but partners nevertheless. So what are the duties that they owe to each other as partners? You have a duty of loyalty that must be shared between the partners, and, and you should not act adversely to the okay. partner. This raises some interesting issues when Jones thinks Marion's dead and then discovers her in Belloc's tent. 
and then chooses to leave her there because if he rescues her, they're not able to complete the objective of getting to the Ark of the Covenant. And so while that was to the detriment of the partner, it was not to the detriment of the partnership. Uh -huh. It still went to the overall goal. So if Marion actually had tried to escape from Belloc, she could have been acting in, you know, adversely uh. to the interest of the partnership, which was to find the Ark of the Covenant. Huh. Interesting. I like that. Well, look at that. Legal issues in the Raiders of the Lost Ark, besides also, of course, the whole, can you bring a gun to, uh, uh, was it a knife fight? Uh, there, there was a little of that, you know. <laughs> Never mind the fact that this is way before the TSA and you can travel with a gun and a whip and stuff, all right? You could enter in another country with apparently minimal ease in the 1930s. Yes, a lot of those things were a bit easier back then. All right, well, very cool. I do have to say, I now I think it's a hat is making me nostalgic for Indiana Jones. I got to go back and watch Raiders of the Lost Ark again. There, there are a couple other things in there as well because when you think back to the opening scenes, when they're going after the fertility idol and you have mm -hmm. Satipu who was you know played by the actor who would later later play Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man 2. Uh -huh. This is like his first on-screen role that he has. Wow. You you have issues with throw me the idol I'll throw you the whip. Mm -hmm. That would be a breach of his fiduciary duty to Jones and the partnership because he's trying to act in his own interests to the detriment uh -huh. of the partner, which is different then Jones leaving Marion with Belloc. <laughs> <laughs> they need to watch Raiders of the Lost Ark and Business Association class in law school from now on, I think, to discuss the rights and duties of partners. If anything happens tonight because of that, if we are able to help law students and law professors <laughs> justify this exercise, our work here is done. Well, I think that's a perfect note to sign off on. Thanks so much for talking to us about this, Josh. Anytime. Good night, uh, Jessica. Bye, guys.